Hi everyone, it's Ms. Hilton. Happy Mare Week. During Mare Week at Davis, every grade level researches and learns about a different body of water. And in kindergarten, we learn all about ponds. I'm going to teach you about a pond animal today in case you want to use this animal for your project. So maybe you see an animal behind me. Yes, today we are going to learn about pond turtles. Some turtles you know live in the ocean, and those are sea turtles, but sea turtles are different from pond turtles. So let's learn a little bit about them. All of these turtles you're going to see are pond turtles that live in Texas. This one is called the red slider. You can remember that because they have some red by their eyes. And this one is called the box turtle. Okay, a turtle is a reptile and they have a hard outer shell. Turtles have two eyes and a head. Below the turtle's mouth is the mandible. That's kind of like their jaw. Turtles have four legs and they have sharp nails. They also have a tail. Most turtles are green, but they can be brown or yellow. And here's our red slider who has a little bit of red. Pond turtles can be small, three inches, or they can be all the way up to six feet, which is taller than me. Habitat, that is where an animal or a turtle lives. So we're learning about pond turtles. So of course they live in ponds in the water, but they can also live on land. Turtles live all around the world, except not cold places. They don't like to be cold. So in the winter, they dig holes into the ground or burrows and they stay there to keep warm. That's why it's nice that they have those long nails to help them dig. Food, what do turtles like to eat? Well, pond turtles are omnivores, which means they eat plants and insects or animals. So some turtles like to eat worms or small fish, or here's a daddy long leg and other insects that turtles like to eat. And they also like to eat leaves, algae, and vegetables. Here is a very cute turtle eating a leaf. The life cycle of a turtle. This example I found is of a sea turtle. And I know it's a sea turtle because if you look at their front legs, they're more like flippers to help them swim in the ocean. But pond turtles have smaller front legs. So female or girl turtles will lay an egg on land. Then they bury the egg and leave them. When they get a little bigger, they hatch out of their egg and they're called a hatchling. And hatchlings take care of themselves because the mom left the hatchling. So when the hatchling grows up, they become a juvenile turtle, kind of like a kid, and then they grow into an adult turtle where the females will go lay an egg and we have our cycle that keeps on going. Most pond turtles live 30 years, but some types of pond turtles can live to be 100 years old. Here are some fun, crazy facts about turtles. Turtles don't have teeth, but they do have a tongue. And they use their hard sides of their mouths to help them eat. Some turtles can pull their body into their shell to protect themselves. Here is a very cute turtle who must be scared because he pulled his body into his shell. That helps protect them against their predators. And last, Turtle shells are made out of the same thing as your fingernails. So touch your fingernail. Your fingernail is harder than your skin. It's made out of keratin, and that is the same thing that turtle shells are made out of. So if you choose a turtle for your pond project, I have some ideas that you can use to make your turtle craft. Here in the corner is just a step-by-step um, -step how to draw a turtle. 
down here, you can see that they used the bottom of a soda bottle and turned it around as the turtle shell. This turtle is made out of a loofah that might, you might have in the shower. These turtles are made out of cupcake liners. This one is made out of a painted shell. And these little ones are made out of the bottom of an egg carton. Okay, friends, I hope you had a nice time learning about pond turtles today and have a great time making your project.